Hi friends, welcome back to another Mina Monday. Thank you so much all for joining me this day. And so today I'm doing five super easy and simple DIYs for your room. And these are all with items that you can already have at home or most likely already have. I wanted to pretty much revamp my room but I didn't want to spend $40 on some throw pillows and such. So that's kind of where the idea came from. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below and let me know what you think of the video or what other videos you want to see in the future. So let's get right into it. This first idea is CD art. So this can be done with any old CD or with any blank CDs that you have. I have a stack of blank CDs so I decided that I would paint clouds on them. This is something that's really popular on TikTok and so I just got white and blue and I blended it together to make that light blue. And then I did the dark line first for the bottom of the clouds, then I did a lighter blue and then white on top and then I just went in to try and blend the colors together and then I went over it with white again. And then this can be used on your wall, you can do multiple of these or you can just do one because I'm going to be using this in a later part of one of these projects as well. For this next DIY, you'll need an old throw blanket, a old throw pillow, something that you don't really care about and you're willing to ruin, a glue gun as well as some hot glue sticks, a pair of scissors that work really well on fabric, and then next you'll just want to cover that pillow with the blanket to see how much fabric that you need. Then after that, what I did was I just cut this blanket. And so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be hot gluing the blanket onto the throw pillow. And I know it sounds really weird, but the front side will look really, really good. The back side, personally for me, doesn't look great. I'm sure if you guys are a neater at things, then you probably can make it look a lot prettier. And I decided to have two layers of the blanket on each side because the colors of the throw, of the throw pillow are really bold so I could see through it when it was just one layer of the throw blanket, so I did two. So there's it's doubled up on both sides. So I'll be the first to say it. The back, she could look a lot better. Um, but what matters is that people are just seeing this part and that this actually looks pretty legit and is really soft and comfy. And anyways, I'm like the only one in my room, so it'll be fine. This third DIY is also a throw pillow. You'll need an old throw pillow, a shirt you don't care much about, as well as some safety pins. And so this is an old shirt from my mom that she was willing to lend to me. This throw pillow, I was actually able to take the cover off and so I just used the inside of the throw pillow. And you'll want to put the shirt, you'll, you'll want to put the throw pillow inside the shirt like this. So I just put it in lengthwise and then I folded it like a Christmas present or a birthday present, like how you wrap it. And so like I put the corners in together as you can see here and then I put on the back both of those folds and the corners together and I just safety pinned those parts together. So like I said before, it's kind of like wrapping a present. This one is perfect for if you do not want to cut anything up, if you do not have any hot glue, and this is just literally items you probably have at home. And if you want to reuse the shirt again later and re-wear it, it's totally fine because it'll work because it just has tiny safety pin holes in it. And so again, you just wrap it like a present and then you put it together with safety pins instead of tape. I love this idea because if you wanted your shirt again, you wanted the shirt back, you could just totally unclip it and then you can change this out. So it's very versatile. Also, a little side note from the editor. Please don't mind the how my room looks messy. Uh, since I am redoing my room, there's a lot of things that are out and about because I, well, you know, I'm redoing it. And so just please don't mind that if you see it in the background. I did my best to make the framing cute and everything like that. But yeah. Thank you. 
this one is probably the easiest. Some of the things that I used were cute candy wrappers, stickers, cards, art prints, some quotes, some Polaroids, that CD art again, and washi tape, and art that I made. So I just, first of all, I laid all the stuff out. This is literally just going to be a little collage on your wall. So I laid it all out on my desk first just to see different varieties and different ways that I wanted to do it. Then I had to unscrew the screws that were in my wall because I had something hanging up there before. And then I just started putting everything up there. So I first put that art piece that I made up there and then I put my pictures. I try to do all the big items first and then I put the smaller Polaroids and the candy wrappers there. So at first you can see I was just kind of doing everything by section but then I realized it'd just be a lot quicker just to do all those big items first. And then I was realizing that I put things way too high so I had to redo that part. And then now I'm just putting washi tape on some of the Polaroids because I think that's like a really cute little accent. And then I'm putting these small quotes in places. And then that's pretty much it. Super easy, super simple, and super customizable just with items that you have in your house already. This one's very Pinteresty. You need some clothespins, some Polaroids, as well as some twine, and you will also need good scissors again, which are a necessity, and these thumbtacks or whatever that you can use to pin into the wall. So please excuse the bad lighting. I did my best for it to look good. This is just what happened. It was a rainy day. It was cloudy. But first of all, I put the thumbtacks into the wall. And then I put the twine up there and then you put the clothespins in and then you just put your Polaroids up there and then it becomes a really cute another piece of wall decor again very Pinteresty and wow excuse my voice Last but not least, you'll need that twine again, those scissors, as well as a mason jar, or just any sort of little storage container. I first just, again, wrapped the twine around this. You could do ribbon, you could paint it. Literally anything works. I just wanted to do this because I like the simplicity of the twine, and I just wrapped it around and made a cute little bow. And then see, you can use this as a little cute storage unit. I was thinking maybe I could put my Copic markers in it. But I realized that I had too many markers so it wouldn't fit. And then I had a great idea, like a light bulb moment, literally. I put these fairy lights into it and I realized that I could put it on my bedside table and then I can make it a light. And I don't have a light next to my bedside table or like on my bedside table. And so I'm always just kind of like running back to my bed in the dark. And I've always wanted to have like a lamp there. But the plug-in is kind of far away from my bedside table, so I never really had one. And now I do! This is such a cute idea for a lamp or even just for a good storage unit. Thank you all so much for watching. I am so glad that you guys could join me this Mina Monday or whatever the day of the week that you are watching this on. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and that you are all happy and healthy and safe. Bye.